Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today is a Cinema 4D tutorial on how to render with no background. Uh, I made a tutorial on this a while back, I'd say a week now. Uh, basically, you can how to render a picture with no background. And today is kind of a step up to the how to render like a video with uh, no, with no background, which um, which can be quite tricky. So just say you kind of have your scene set up here and you go to... Uh, MoGraph text object, and you know, you just kind of have your text. Just say you type uh, Connor. Yeah, I just changed the font here. Um, what font should I use? I use some Batman font. Actually, no, I use Bank Gothic. Yeah, I'll just kind of lower the horizontal space until it doesn't look ridiculously stupid. Just add some caps, you know, it's kind of like the general text. What you generally do when you're making it. Uh, just kind of maybe increase a bit more now the caps have been added. And there we go, you've got some decent text. It's going to go to File, Shader, and New Key. And just add that on, just a shiny blue, just so you can kind of see what I'm going. There you go. And as you see, you kind of got the text set up there. But you notice you've got a black background. And if you were to render this as an AVI or a um, MOV, you'll notice that the black background will still be there. And as much as you can kind of color correct, I mean, uh, chroma key that in, Sony Vegas or After Effects, it, it doesn't leave as crisp edges as, as you like. So what we are going to do is we're going to go to... Set. You want it on HD or 1280x720 as opposed to 3... Uh, anyway, you, you want YouTube dimensions if you are going to be uploading. And frame range, you want uh, manual. And I'll do it 0 to... Just keep... 0 to 20 frames. Wait, no. What have I just done? Oh, Christ. Anyway, 0 to 20 frames. And I'll change that to 1. And um, we're going to be using 0 to 20. That's going to be our timeline. So, for example, go to keyframe 1. I'm going to generally set this up here. And just make it go back a bit. And just hit the little keyframe button. Go forward by 20. And move it forward again and hit the keyframe button and if you go from the beginning you'll notice that it comes forward like so now we're at the stage where we want to render now first things first you want to go to where desktop so you want to go to new folder and after all this is uh, a make render settings and we go to save, wanna save it. Um, I'll call it one. And then I'll just go to the desktop where I saved it and into tutorial. And actually now I'll change this to tut. Something different. Click save. You wanna make it on PNG. Yes, you want on PNG, despite this is gonna be rendered as a movie. Don't worry. Make sure you've got alpha channel ticked as well. And uh, that is it. So if you just go ahead and render this out here the same will happen, you won't notice much difference but for example if we go to shift R which is render and it will just kind of render this out here here we go it will be just doesn't take that long you know nice settings have really been added and it is quite basic you know there we go it's rendered to 20 go into after effects you will need after effects for this I do not I don't I think I tried this with Sony Vegas it didn't work you need so you need after effects Go to File, Import, and File, and go to the desktop, and under Tutorial, just drag in, just click the first one, and then drag it in, like so. And I've got it on quarter here, which is going to go to full. You'll notice that this, the it will still animate, despite you've only added the one picture. But you'll notice it's got a black background, so if you just go to File, New, and just make a solid, I'll just make it like a whitish grey, make comp size and drag it below you'll notice that there is no background and so there you go that's how to render with no background uh, a video uh, thanks for watching this video wait render with no background on this video anyway yeah thanks for watching this uh, that's how to render with no background I've been Connor with Chrome Designs and uh, thank you for watching this video